Hi there everyone and welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video we are going to cover the P2P or the procure to pay process within uh, Business Central. So this is basically the end-to-end um, -end process. Um, yours might look a little bit different but it's the end-to-end -end process um, on the um, purchase ledger or the accounts receivable ledger. Okay, um, So where do we start with this? Well, as I say, yours might look a little bit different, but you can start from the purchase quote process. Okay, so that's the earliest um, sort of point that you be can begin um, the purchase process within uh, Business Central. So bear in mind, you might have uh, an off process um, sort of process before a purchase quote, um, but in Business Central um, itself, uh, purchase quotes is where you would begin the P2P process, okay? So what is a purchase quote? Um, well, it's basically a quote for a purchase, could often be referred to as um, a purchase requisition or a request to purchase, okay? Now, in order to raise a new um, purchase quote, what I can do is come up to the top in the purchase quotes list and go new, and I'm gonna select a vendor here to begin with. Let's just go with Fabricam. Um, and then I'm going to input some lines on my purchase code. So to uh, keep it simple, I'm just going to add a general ledger line here. And I'm going to add a quantity of one and a direct unit cost of 100. OK, so much like we saw on the equivalent um, sales uh, quotes to cash and process, much like that, the purchase quote retains all of the details here that we input on the purchase quote. Um, and once we're ready with that purchase quote, once we've got all the details in here, we can go ahead and say make order. OK, so what that will do is it will move this purchase quote 1002 into the next stage of the process, which is a purchase order. And that happens when we click the make order process, okay? So just to recap what we did, uh, we created a new purchase quote, we added a vendor and we added a single line, which was a GL account um, and the quantity was one and direct unit cost there was 100. So we can add other dimensions, things like uh, other other areas, sorry, other, uh, other things like dimensions, like I've got here, I can add a department customer group code and other dimensions here if I want to. Um, you can also request approval. So I've not got that set up in the, in this particular demo, but you can set up approvals to work with purchase quotes. OK, now what I'll go ahead and do is say make order. And what this will do is it will say, do you want to convert the quote to an order? Obviously, this is done either once the um, quote has been approved or we accept the quote um, which has been provided by the um, supplier. So let's go ahead and say yes. Um, and here we've got a message saying the quote has been converted to order number 106024. Do you want to open the new order? Okay, so I'm just going to say no at the moment. And just note if I go back to my purchase quotes window, purchase quote 1002 is now removed. Okay, so it's no longer there. Um, but it's turned into a purchase order. Okay, so the next stage in the process here is a PO. So let me go into purchase orders here. And what we're going to do is go to the most recent purchase order, which is 106024 here. And you can see that has a status of open. Okay, so just reviewing this purchase order. It's basically the same as what we saw on the purchase quote. Okay, so all of the same details that we had on our purchase quote are transferred across to our purchase order. No change is made in terms of the, the detail in there. Um, and if I go show more up at the top here, see we've got quote number 1002. So it's keeping that audit trail for us. Um, and it's, uh, it's basically saying that this purchase order 106024 came from quote number 1002. 
Okay, so from this point, um, really it's a case of um, waiting for the correct time to invoice our purchase order or receive indeed our purchase order depending on your business process. Okay, so uh, obviously it depends on how you operate as a business, what you do, the different tasks which we may need to do off the back of this PO. So I can do things like create a warehouse receipt, uh, cre create inventory put away or pick. Um, I can also do things like send intercompany purchase orders. But for the purpose of this video, we're going through the end to end P2P process. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to invoice this PO. OK, so in order to do this, I'm going to say post and I can receive individually. I can invoice individually or I can receive and invoice together, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and say cancel for now because what I need to do is I need to add my vendor invoice number. You can see that's mandatory on the, uh, the company in which I'm working. So I'm gonna go in and add a unique vendor invoice number there. Um, so let me go ahead and say post and I'm just going to say receive an invoice and OK. OK, so I've got a message now. It says the order is posted as number 108212 and moved to the posted purchase invoices window. Do you want to open the posted invoice? So again, I'm going to say no on this. And what I should say is, look, guys, the PO 106024, i.e. the one that we were just working on, is now removed from the purchase orders list, okay? So it's not there anymore. It's now turned into an invoice, okay? So we're in the final stage now of um, the, the P2P process, uh, rather skipping the payment. Um, we're at the, the penultimate stage in the, um, the, the P2P process. So if I go into my posted purchase invoices, and if I go into the last posted purchase invoice, you see there from my vendor invoice number, that was the one that we just processed. Um, this is basically an uneditable version of my PO. OK, so again, it's got all of the same details. You see, I just had the one line on there and it's got the same dimensions and such that I had in on my PO and my PQ. Uh, and if I say show more up at the top here, I can see the originating quote number was 1002 and the PO the order number was 106024, okay? So there are other ways that you can invoice a purchase order. Of course, I may have had multiple lines on here. Um, I, might, I might get a summarized invoice from my supplier. We can do those sorts of processes in other videos, okay? So this is just to show you the end-to-end um, -end process on our purchase ledger. Okay, so What's left to do now is we need to go ahead and pay this invoice. So we need to pay our um, supplier. So in order to do this, I'm going to use the um, shortcut to come into my vendor card here. And if I go into vendor and ledger entries over here, I can see the most recent transaction is our invoice. OK, so we've got um, our external document number, our vendor invoice number, and our internal reference number here as well, okay? And if I scroll to the right, I can see all the details on this, okay? So I can see the currency code, the original amount, the amount, amount LCY, and the remaining amount and remaining amount LCY, okay? So um, if it was a foreign currency here, guys, the amount, original amount, and remaining amount would be in the foreign currency, the amount LCY and remaining amount LCY would be in the local currency. OK, so I've also got some other details here, i.e. when is my invoice due? And then I've got um, when can I claim uh, my payment discount up until and if there's a tolerance, when can I claim my payment discount tolerance up until? OK, and I've got other notifiers here to tell me that the um, the invoice is currently open, i.e. it needs to be paid. Um, and in order to go ahead and um, pay this invoice, um, what I can do is, well, I can do that in a number of ways, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go ahead and say create payment. And what this is going to do 
is it's going to ask me which batch do I want to send this to and which template do I want to send this to and then I can also choose the bank account from which um, this payment is going to be made and if I'm uh, making an electronic payment I can go ahead and select a payment type as well but I'm just going to leave that blank for now um, and let me go ahead and say OK and what this will do is it will create on the payment journal a payment journal line which is then picking up my invoice okay so see I've got vendor as the account type I've got vendor 10,000 as the account number and then there's a message here just telling us that we're paying this invoice um, with your reference uh, the vendor invoice number on there and then I've got my amount an amount LCY and I've got my bank account here so I'm saying the the uh, payment is coming from our checking account um, and you can see here that the application is done in the background so I can go into apply entries and I can review that if I want to um, but this general line looks good to me so I'm just going to go ahead and say post and yes and here it tells me see the journal lines were successfully posted so let me say okay on that and I'll step back um, to my vendor ledger entries and if I just go ahead and refresh what I've got here at the top is uh, another line here which is a payment and that is the payment that we've just processed for our invoice okay so you can see the amounts there are the opposite of the invoice um, so it cancels out that invoice and if I scroll to the right here you can see the open checkbox is now unpopulated for both of those lines because those transactions are applied to each other okay so I can double check that by going into um, either of these lines so either the invoice line or the payment line and if I go to the three dots or the assist edit here and I go into applied entries I can see here that payment G04001 is applied to invoice 108212 okay so that's this line here for our vendor invoice number test one two three four five six okay and that was the final step in the p2p process so just to recap what we did there guys was we started out with a purchase quote uh, we input a very simple purchase quote uh, we turned that into a purchase order and we then turned the purchase order into a purchase invoice and we then went ahead and paid that purchase invoice okay so end to end that's the p2p process um, i hope you found the video useful thanks very much for watching and uh, i will see you on the next one